This conference will now be recorded. Hi all, good morning. Welcome to welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about user administration in SAP basis. How to create new user and what are the different types of users we have and what are the significance if you create user in development or if you create user in quality or if you create user in production server. We'll see one by one. So all users in SAP are related with roles. Whenever you create a new user in SAP, it's all created with roles because when you appoint a person, you appoint a person for particular designation. Okay. And we can call them as an end user who enters live data into system. If you create a user in development system, a quality system, low licensing cost will be occur. But when you create a user in production server, we have to pay a licensing cost. Now we will see the different types of users in SAP. We have five kinds of users in SAP. Like we have a dialog user, we have a system user, we have a communication user, we have a reference user. These are the five types of users, and these five types have that different different significance. Now we'll see in details what are what are the roles and responsibility of this five type user. When you create a dialog user. Whenever you create a dialog user system, he is an online user or an interactive user. He is an online user or he is an interactive user. He can able to even able to log into system. He can able to log in system and he can update his own password. Okay, and whenever he logged in, his password checks whether password is initial, lost or expired. It also checks for multiple logons. Okay, and you can restrict it. And the second user comes with a system user. System user, this users used to communicate within the system. Okay, the system user cannot log into the system as a dialog user. They cannot change their passwords. Only administrator can change their passwords for system users. <clears throat> now coming to the third part, <clears throat> communication user. This type of user are used for RFC communication between SAP systems. Okay. And dialog logons are not possible for this type of users, and user cannot change his password for this type of users, and they are not able to log into system as a dialog users. Now coming to the fourth type, the reference user. This type of user used only for reference some of the existing users. Like in SAP, there is a rule. In SAP, we can assign 312 rows to a single user. If you would like to assign or uh, add more rules to that user, then you have to create a reference user. Okay. And he is not able to log into the system at all, like a dialog user. Now coming to the service user. This type of user available large in numbers, and these users having very limited access to the system, they can able to log into the systems. Only admin can change their password. So what is the conclusion? Only dialogue users and service users can able to log into the system. Now we will move on to the system and see how we can create a user in SAP. This is the initial screen for creating a user. We are using we are going to use the transaction code SU01. We are going to use the transaction SU01 for creating a users. Okay, this is the user. And when you go to this transaction, you will get this type of screen. Okay. Like here, we can create the user, we can change the user, we can display the user, we can delete the user, we can copy the user, and we can lock unlock the user, and we can change the password of the user. These are the different types on which you can work with the single user. Now we will log into the system and see how to create a user. Okay, here we are going to create a one user. Test user 10. I just give a name called a test user 10 for creation new user. Already we discussed these are the all sub menus on which are going to work. But today we're going to see how to create a new user. Just click click on create. 
okay now you are going to see this type of screen in front of you now we have to work on this screen for creating the user now you see address data in address data you have to fill mr or mrs whatever you want okay depending upon gender and you have to fill last name and the first name we will take test user 10 give any name and depending upon its roles and responsibility you have to fill whole sheet like what is function when which department is working what's the telephone number what's the mobile number you will get everything in an excel sheet from the functional team who ask you to create this user okay you never know what is the username and all so just wait for excel sheet and the confirmation approval then you can create user and fill all the thing whichever required for the user okay now coming to the next step logon data logon data here we can use user types as we discussed we have five types of user we can choose either dialog system communication reference or service all user types over here so i'm creating a sub uh, dialog user over here and now one more thing we have to queue initial password otherwise user will not get saved i'm just giving the initial password okay now you see user groups now we see user groups here we can create a user group and segregate all user according to their groups you can see we have created some user groups over here see we have this uh, user groups i just give this user as a basis admin but then you can find all basis admin in these groups these the large companies very useful to segregate user according to their modules and valid to and valid from here we can decide for how many days you require this user you can create user for seven days seven months seven years or lifetime also if you keep these values blank then it will be treated as lifetime or you can create user for some of the period like whichever you like for 10 days for 15 days we create this user from 21st of december to 31st of december when you try to log in on first jan 2021 you get an error message key user is locked you are expired like this okay and see and now we see move on to next parameter called defaults defaults here you have to set a decimal notation in india we use this decimal notation it's all depending upon the client for which you are working the date format the time format okay this all depends on the client for which you are working if you work in europe client us clients they decided what should be accepted and this is one for all if they will they will give a pdf file in that they will give formats on which formats you have to create so you have to create all 100 user thousand years in those formats only okay and this is for spool now whenever you create a user when end user started working he'll create uh, some reports some po's ps materials they need to take a printout so we need to assign a printer to him now we'll assign one printer to him i just give example okay now we have two options print immediately delete after output okay if i give this option it will whatever is select it get print immediately and after if you select this also whatever it prints is get deleted also so it's all depending on the company to company whether you have to keep this option yes or no but this option you have to otherwise no print will come at all okay now we want to next tab is called roles okay here we have to define a rules depending upon the user if it's a mm user uh, add mm rules if it's a sd user add sd rule depending upon his designation you have to take role we well, now we'll assign some rules to him which are already created in the system okay see all these are all standard rules these all are standard rules i just assign him two to three standard rules and two to three z rules See these all are Z rules, create customized created rules. Assign in the rules also, and all rules are working. See the status, everything is working fine. 
now you will see to the profiles what are the profiles in sap we have got some default profiles in sap we have got some default profiles if you go and check here it shows all your default profiles whichever you have in the system see these are all the default profiles depending upon requirement you have to select profiles and assign to the user but we have two profiles called sap all sap new if you assign this profile to anybody you will become a admin for whole system you can able to access whole system you can able to do anything is a admin if you give sap all and sap new to any user you will become an administrator of the whole system you can work with all sap modules you can work with all transaction code whichever exists in sap okay now we have to save this user which you have created now you see the message will come user saved see user test user created it means we have successfully created one user okay this is what i would like to explain you in this session user creation you will be find more session in more videos in my next sessions if you will like this video please subscribe to our channels and get all updated videos on basis administration thank you thanks all